It is also important to know what normal fooling looks like so you know what to expect. If something is going wrong, knowing when to call your vet and doing so quickly may save the life of your mare and her foal. Labor is divided into three specific stages. In stage one, your mare's contractions will begin. These contractions help to reposition the foal for delivery and dilate her cervix. They will make your mare uncomfortable and crampy, and that's why you will see the signs of pacing, not eating, repeatedly laying down and getting up, patchy sweating, frequent urination and defecation, and seeming colicky. Stage one lasts up to six hours, but typically lasts about one to two hours. Stage one ends when her water breaks, releasing fluid. Stage two is when the foal is expelled and typically only takes 10 to 20 minutes in the mare. After the water breaks, you should see the pearly white amnion appear at the vulva. Very soon after that, you should see two front feet and the foal's nose appear. The mare usually lays down at this point and you will see her push in groups of three or four pushes at a time. With each push, you should see progression in delivery of the foal. In stage three of labor, the placenta or afterbirth is expelled. This takes between one and three hours. If your mare has not passed her placenta by three hours after foaling, you need to call your vet. Here are some situations where things are not going normally and you should call your vet immediately. Any lack of progress, if your mare is pushing and nothing is happening. If you don't see the foal's two front feet and nose appear soon after the water breaks. If you only see one foot, only the nose and no feet, or only the membrane and no full parts. If you see a thick red membrane appear at the vulva instead of a pearly white amnion, this means her placenta is separating too early and the foal is no longer getting oxygen. If stage two is taking longer than 30 minutes, it might mean the foal is out of position. A foal's hoof or nose coming out of the mare's anus. If the mare has not passed her placenta within three hours of foaling, if your mare shows signs of hemorrhage immediately after foaling. Your mare and her new foal should receive full physical examination by your veterinarian within the first day after foaling. This is to ensure that your mare has not suffered any complications and that the foal is healthy and has received enough colostrum.